probably heard me say this in one of the vlogs. But what does this actually mean and why am I doing this? Well, this whole thing started back in November when I started realizing the stuff I was previously really good at doing was becoming quite difficult. And to put it simply, because I don't want to waste your time with a bunch of rambling, I just decided from then on I was going to change myself and get that toned body I always wanted. A new version of me was about to like get unleashed. You see, fitness has always been like a massive, a massive part of my life growing up. And ever since I got older, it's become my responsibility to do that myself. So when I sleep in, it doesn't actually impact mum and dad, it only impacts me. No one else is going to make you do anything now because you're older, which is actually a really good thing and also a really bad thing at the same time. It's hard to explain. But I really appreciate you joining me because I'm about to show you everything I've been doing to improve myself. And it's not cringy stuff, it's not like, oh, I journal every single day and I make my Better no. It's stuff that's gonna help me become the person I want to be. All right, let me show you the stuff I've been doing. Wait, I have an idea. I really wanna look back on this video and see how far I've come in terms of fitness and diet. So I wanna do a couple of strength tests so then we can compare it to my dream body. We will be doing a one minute push up challenge, how many meters I can get on the ski, plank hold as long as I can, and my weight PBs. Four years ago when I was 12 years old, we did an army fitness challenge, and in two minutes I did 52 proper push ups. Um, I don't think I can do that now. Three, two, one. Oh, I cracked How many chin-ups I can do in a row? All right, I wanna, oh no, 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 I can do more. It's like my body just won't listen to me. In one minute, how many meters can I do on the ski? Almost 250 meters. The exercise that I hate most, plank. Oh my god. Oh. About 50 seconds. I don't really know whether to be like disappointed or be like, yeah, this is good because when I beat these, I'm gonna look so much stronger. So while exercise is very important, I think the biggest thing that's gonna help me is my diet. Let's go together because I'm gonna show you what I've been cooking and eating. I think what's kind of crazy is as I've started you know, becoming more aware of what food I'm eating and baking new different recipes, I've become a much better cooker. So this is the ingredients that we will be needing today for these recipes. I'm very excited to show you. We got it. One unprofessional advice to you, which I just have to because I love talking. It would be, I think the easiest thing that I've been able to do that's made me a lot healthier it's just food swap instead of buying full cream milk you buy a lighter high protein milk buying a refined wrap you buy the multi-grain wrap you know just simple stuff like that definitely is helping me and trying to find advice on the internet about like nutrition and stuff is like trying to listen to one person in a room filled with a hundred people who are also screaming at you but um do you want a tour of my kitchen no you don't? Oh well, too bad. I've made a couple of upgrades like this shelf. The fridge is also a lot more organized. I would say it's pretty neat. This is the ice. This is where I store all my like ninja creamies. I got that thing for Christmas. I love it so much. What? <gasps> And then open here, that's like my freezer. We got like these cool healthy sandwiches, which we're gonna test out today to see if they actually taste good. Oh, and my amazing tomato pasta sauce that can be used on anything. Over here we have this spice rack that attaches to the fridge. It's a magnet, it's crazy good. And before I start making anything, I always make sure I unpack everything. It makes it so much easier just to kind of know where everything is. Do you have to do what I'm doing? Absolutely not. If you don't want to organize anything, that's fine. I'm just trying to tell you what really helps me keep calm like a calm mind in the kitchen. It's all clean and I'm ready with my recipes to show you what I did. First thing I'm gonna do today is meal prep a bunch of chicken. Just chopped up chicken with spices and put in the freezer. But unfortunately, this is when disaster struck. Oh no. 
Uh oh. And this has never happened to me before. And it's happening right now when I'm filming. Oh, I did, I did, I did it. This bowl was at an angle and it wasn't opening. We now have to chop up one kilo and 360 grams of chicken. Oh my God, the family I live in is, it's so hard to get people to watch shows they've never watched before, but they think it's gonna be bad. So I cut the chicken into like pieces like this. And I freeze these bite-sized pieces after they've been cooked, and I just like have them during the week in my recipes because they're really high in protein, and oh my gosh, protein is so important. I've also got the knives sharpened so they cut like a breeze. Oh, who's calling me? You're interrupting me, it's Biggie. Hello. I'm not eating lunch, I'm cooking with um, the legends. Now that we have a whole bowl of chopped up chicken, we add these spices. Salt, garlic, onion powder, paprika, oregano, olive oil. And then you get in there with your big hand and mix it all together. And this is what I love about this recipe because it's so easy to cook. You're not like at a frying pan, you know, it's spilling everywhere, you just put them in the oven. So line your baking trays, and then you're just gonna put the chicken on. If I can, I'll say something personal to you. I guess I've been trying to answer the question about why I want to be fit and why I want my body to look differently. It is because I want to get a toned body. No, 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 anyway, okay. That's one of the reasons, definitely. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say, I'm I'm also doing this because I want to look a certain way. But there definitely are many other reasons why I want to do this. You know, eating a bunch of junk food like McDonald's isn't going to help me at all. It's going to make me feel worse. So I want to make sure I'm doing the best thing for my body and making sure I live a long life. I think in my priorities, in my head, looks aren't really up there for me. And you know, maybe that'll change. Maybe we're still just getting a little bit more old. Start getting into more of the on a dating life, I'm probably gonna care a lot more about my looks, but right now, it isn't really one of my top priorities. I don't want you to think like I'm a pig either, like, oh, she just doesn't care about her looks. To an extent, I care about my looks, you know, I want to look decent. That is actually one of the reasons why I'm trying to be healthy, to look better. And then what's so funny is this is like, I think it's my fifth time of trying to diet, but this time, I'm actually doing it. These go in the oven for only seven minutes. Can you put these in the oven for longer? Absolutely. If you do that, however, they're gonna become pretty dry. If you're a true legend, you would have now got this cutting board on Christmas day. But I'm also just a little bit disappointed in myself. So for me, when I buy stuff, I never really buy it for the aesthetic or the look, I buy it for the practicality. But my other siblings only buy stuff for the aesthetic and I'm, I feel like I'm better than them because I don't do that. But, I'm sorry to say, I got this winning chopping board mostly because of the look. Plastic cutting boards, you just gotta chop on them and then you put them in the dishwasher and then it's done. But because this is made out of wood, you can't go in the dishwasher and... You have to oil the cutting board every so often to make sure it doesn't dry out. Which one do you think looks better? Do you think it's the plastic or the wood? It's the wood! And that's the reason why I bought it, because now I look like a proper chef. Oh, the chicken's ready! This is at seven minutes of cooking time. As you can see, it's still fully cooked, but look at the juices. Oh, look at that. Nice. And then we just push the chicken up here, so then the juices can remain at the bottom. We're gonna make these like mini salad containers. <gasps> oh no, I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot the iceberg lettuce. So how do you chop fruits and veggies and make them last the whole week without going bad? Let me show you. One paper towel each, and you put it at the bottom of the container. So you're probably all wondering, what are my calorie goals or like macros? I actually spoke to my gym coach and we worked out how much protein. 204 grams of carbohydrate, 36 grams of fat, and 25 grams of protein. Keep in mind, this is actually to lose weight and put on muscle at the same time. And I'm not saying my body, anything is wrong with my body, but the body that I'm trying to reach, this is what's kind of required to get it. So it's like a fun little challenge for me. Oh, and we get the best part, our lovely cherry tomatoes. Put about three in each one. Cheese. Now what I use these salads for is actually these post starters, I think they're called. I'll tell you what's the most common advice they give you for starting to be healthy, is to remove unhealthy foods from your life. But I just wanna say, 
That has not been possible for me because I live with eight other people who aren't trying to reach the same goal as me, which is fine. In no way do I want to be like one of those kind of see who like go around, they scream at people and say, you guys did this. It's like, no, people are allowed to do whatever they want, but I just wanted to point that out that I actually have not been able to follow that advice simply because, well, not everyone wants to be healthy or like, not everyone wants to perhaps track everything they're eating. Get out another sheet pan, line with foil, put the cooked chicken on, and since we have run out of space, we make another layer. And then we just gotta wait until this freezes. Now we're gonna meal prep some protein and side balls, and these are crazy delicious and so, so easy to meal prep. So I actually use my Ninja Creamy ice cream maker to make these, because unlike a normal blender, who only has the blender at the bottom, my Ninja Creamy has a blender that goes up and down. And we can pre-portion the smoothie balls out, and we eat them in these containers. Like, there's literally minimal mess. It's the best thing ever. 600 grams of acai. The acai actually stains pretty bad, so, you gotta be careful with it. I hate banana, but a little bit in an acai bowl is not too bad. 60 grams of banana. Protein sauna. This is how we're gonna get toned. Get some more protein. I love this thing. Tastes like regular milk, but double the protein. Protein! Stevia. You can use regular sugar. Six. All right. It's like a poopy color. But sometimes you just really, really need McDonald's chips. And when I say chips, I mean fries. Chips is like one of my weaknesses. That's like when I crack my diet. I really like them. So I've made my own, which are fully meal prep friendly, and they're really good. On my own recipe. I think you have people whinge about being peeling potatoes. It's so fun. Makes you sense. use the little baby one, because wow. you're a baby. I'm gonna find a potato with the most similar head shape to you. Okay, I've done it. Oh, no, no, don't do that. That's our name. No, we have to do spoop chat now. What? I'm Don't tell yourself, I'm not gonna get in trouble with mum. I'll race you on the next potato. Cause I... You start earlier than me, FYI. I have a bad potato. You need to make sure you cut them thinly. If you cut them too thick, they're not gonna be crispy. <laughs> See if you're number one to making good chips. Don't let Zucky cook them. <laughs> um, big bowls of sweet potato chips. You can do the same thing as the normal chips. So the secret to getting potatoes that freeze well, hold their shape. You need to put vinegar in the boiling water. If, the, if you don't, they fall apart very quickly. So if you freeze them and you put them all in a bag, they stick together. You can't taste it, I promise. Salt that water. To so make it make sense, boil the chips, you let the chips cool, you portion them into Ziploc bags, and you freeze them. When you want to have them, you put one teaspoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of oil, and you shake it up. You line it on a baking tray, you put it in the oven at 200C for about 10 minutes, you flip them over, another 10 minutes, and then you have perfect chips. And I'm very excited because most of my hobbies I get into are dedicated to old people. Dog training, people who do it are old. Cooking, majority of people who do it are old. You know, people kind of my age, you know, they kind of go and party and... Well, I'm not saying everyone, I'm not saying everyone my, my age. I just think a lot of my age group do go out and party and do go do stuff like that. Which I'm not against, but it's just not really what I'm into. I'm kind of happy because I know a lot of young people are into fitness and into eating healthy and stuff. So I feel like I'm going to make a lot more friends. It's kind of daunting when all your hobbies old people do. Thanks for hanging out with me in this video. I love you. Catch me knuckles.